Hey everyone, Don from Behemoth here, and we've had a lot of people ask us lately how to integrate Behemoth into your sending platform of choice. And while there's literally thousands of sending platforms out there, from Snowvio to Apollo to Instantly and so on and so forth, and we obviously can't make tutorials for each and every one, um, the process itself is very, very similar, if not the exact same, across all these platforms. So I'd like to walk you through it today for Apollo and show you how it's done. Now, I wanna start off by saying there are two ways to integrate BeHuman into your sending platform of choice. The first is the automated way, which I highly recommend, which talks about going through Zapier um, or Pavly Connect or API, for example. Um, the way that works is that every time a video is generated on BeHuman um, from the trigger of, let's say, a customer fills out a form or anything like that, the video is generated on BeHuman and then basically uploaded to that platform um, and then from there sent out. So I won't get into this today. What I will get into is how to actually do it manually as a one-off. So let's say you generate a thousand videos, you download that batch of videos, you wanna put it into Apollo, for example, and then send them out in Apollo or any other platform. So let's do that today. Um, in the interest of time and making this tutorial as efficient as possible, I'm going to start with a campaign that already has videos generated. So let's use this one, for example. And all we have to do at this point is download the CSV file. Okay, now this download the CSV file with all of our videos inside. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so I threw that CSV into a Google spreadsheet here. You can see we have all of our original data, you know, position, Facebook, LinkedIn, URL, first name, location. But if you scroll to the right, on top of that original data, we have our human data, which various things like thumbnail, Vimeo, that's linked to the Vimeo link, GIF, link to the GIF, um, download is a link to the direct video, the status of that and the landing page, the custom landing page that we've created on the campaign. So we have the CSV file now. All we have to do is go to our platform of choice, let's say Apollo for now, and then upload this list into our list of contacts. So let's do that now. Okay, so the way this works for Apollo is apparently you go into list and then create new list. All right, and then import over here bulk import from CSV. Now we'll select our file. Okay, great. Now we have to map the fields that we want to keep. So for our be human fields, especially, we'll have to create custom fields. So as you can see, we're able to do that right here. So let's do that now. So the fields that I'm interested in keeping are GIF. And this can just be a single line of text is all we need. This is the, the, the thumbnail that's moving that we're going to embed as well as Vimeo. This is the link to the video itself. Um, you know, perhaps I want to include as well the landing page. All right, so now let's map those fields. So GIF will go to GIF, landing page will go to landing page, and finally Vimeo to Vimeo. Now, you know, the rest of this, it's just my original data, so I can map this any way I'd like, but it looks good to me. So at this point, you know, these are all just settings, you know, just preferential for what you'd like. Okay, good to go. So we're going to add these to a list. I'll just call it be human. Okay, awesome. So basically there are two steps to this. Um, first, importing the data and second, sending it out. We just finished the first step. So that is great. Now it's time to go ahead and send it out. So... Apollo is primarily a data collection platform, but they do have a feature called Engage that allows you to actually send uh, these emails out. So I'm going to show you how that works with Apollo Engage. But again, the process is very similar for other platforms as well. All right, so in Apollo, it's an Engage and then Templates. Okay, so this is essentially the email template that we'll send out to users. So I'll just call this even template sample. All right, and the subject, you know, maybe it's hey, and then first name, just shot this video for you. Let me just pause this for a sec. I wanna see how you can insert personalized tags into Apollo. Okay, so right down here are dynamic variables. So first name, for example, yep, there you have it. So hey, 
first name. Just shot this video for you. Now this is the body of your email. So again, you could make this, you know, any way you'd like to say what to say whatever is appropriate for your brand, of course. So hey first name. Hope all is well. I just shot this video for you. Okay. Now, this is the second step, right? All we have to do now is basically say, okay, how do we embed be human into this video? Uh, sorry, into this email. So the video shows the thumbnail photo shows and it's looks really attractive and encourages people to click through. Um, so we have some very simple uh, HTML code we have to embed here. So the first thing to do, and again, this applies for all platforms, they all work almost the exact same way, is we have to edit the raw HTML, okay? And now we're gonna copy and paste a little bit of code from BeHuman. So all you have to do, open a new tab, um, just type in BeHuman instantly integration, and you'll find this result here. And this contains two snippets of code. Um, one of our videos in landscape, one of our videos is like uh, is is a portrait mode or a vertical mode. Um, so just depending on how you you know filmed your video, most of the time it's going to be landscape. So let's just let's copy this and go back to Apollo, paste it in there. Okay, awesome. Now you can see here this is a snippet of HTML, and basically it says um, you see here Vimeo and GIF and Vimeo. Those we have to replace with our variable. So let me just backspace that out and we're going to do a dynamic variable and it's going to be Vimeo. Oh, they're in custom over here. Okay, so Vimeo is there. Um, let's see what happened here. Oh, it replaced it. Let me go back. So as you can see, you know, every this is my first time using Apollo actually, but you know, the process is very simple because the process is literally the same for all these platforms. So let me just insert my, why is it doing that? It's replacing it. Just hold on one sec. All right, well, let's do it this way. So we have our Vimeo in there and then the next thing we want to put is our GIF. Okay, so those are our variables there. Let me go back and grab this code and we'll paste it in. Okay. So, um, you know, fortunately, uh, Apollo seems to have the same format as instantly in terms of variables, just two brackets, the name of the variable. So as you can see here, Vimeo and Vimeo, right? It's the same. Uh, GIF, basically, again, you're just replacing that part of it. And then same down here. So as you can see here on the right, let me just get rid of these ones. Okay. So we have this box. This is where the GIF will be, the thumbnail will be, and then watch here, it's linked to the video. So the viewer, the recipient, click on the thumbnail or this watch here, and both will lead to the Vimeo video. Now, if instead you wanted to link to the landing page, then instead of linking to Vimeo, you'd link to the landing page, okay? So it's whatever you'd like to do, you can configure it that way. But then let's go out of the code-based view. and then end this email off. Okay, great. Now let's actually, let's save this and then we're going to test it with some real data. Okay, so if you see up here, click here to generate the preview for a specific contact. Of course, the contact needs to have the Vimeo links and the uh, GIFs and things like that filled in, right? All of my contacts do because they just uploaded them. So if I highlight that, you can see that pop in here. So, hey Dylan, hope all is well. I just shot this video for you. We then have my moving animated thumbnail and the link which lead to Vimeo. All right, now I can save this. I know essentially all I have to do is start my campaign. So again, the whole two steps are first uploading your data and then secondly, you know, building that template, that's done. So now we can go ahead and send this out. Um, so at this point, you know, depending on your platform, Every platform does it a little bit differently. Like over here in Apollo, I see their sequences. Um, I think I have to upgrade for something like this. Um, let me just see something here. Yeah. Let me just... So, but the process is the same, you know, as, as for any campaign within this platform, whether it's a Be Human video or not, you're just using the template that you created for Be Human. Um, so let me just... Yeah. So, you know, at this point, I'll, I'll stop here. Um, but I think you get the idea. So that's how you are able to integrate 
generated behemoth videos into your platform of choice for sending if you don't want to use send it for me again we have this built in natively as well so you can use it from our platform or you can use leader which is our linkedin automation app and send your videos over linkedin automatically or finally download the csv and upload it into your platform of choice um, there's an automated way to do this which is through zapier that i won't get into um, because it does require you spending a little bit of time because every platform is different in terms of what their zapier um, integration flow um, if you need help with that, just let us know. But for now, this should take care of sending it manually um, as a one-off. So once again, any questions, feel free to contact our live chat in the bottom right corner of your screen, and we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks again for your time. Take care.